Hey, Charles Bryce here. Got a new uh, YouTube video here. I'm uh, changing out a. Uh, actually, I'm cleaning a seat belt out. I've got a. Uh, it was growing mold everywhere where I eat and touched it. I guess that's why we're supposed to use hand sanitizer. So anyway, um, everywhere where I've touched the seat belt, I've had mold growing on it and didn't know it. And then it rained and it water got in the vehicle and I found the reason. I found where the water is getting in it. I knew that I needed to be replacing some of the gaskets on the doors. But now that it's creating such a problem, yeah, I'm going to have to do it sooner or later sooner rather than later anyway i'll show you how to pull the seat belts out of a 2004 jeep grand cherokee laredo so anyway here we go so you got these three you, you pull this stripping back that is covering this one down here on the bottom down here there's a little screw in this a little phillips screwdriver because this is sitting down in here you unscrew that one. This is the plastic. It goes down around this, this door here. You pull that off. That gives you access to this little screw down here. And then you unscrew the screw and then you can pull that loose. There's a plastic cover right here. You pry that off. And that gives you access to the little same style of cross tip screwdriver right here okay you then have another one up here that is you pull this this floor stripping up here you, you pull it this is it here and another good thing is see the the door stripping i've got to replace this you know pull you just rip this off and and this gives you access to this so this can be replaced uh that's from vaseline from in here messing that up um plus over time anyway you pull that off and then there's a third phillips screwdriver right here that's given access from the end of this out of the way and there's your third phillips screwdriver um you then have to go buy a t50 screw uh one of these t50s one of these yeah this is every tool needed for traveling that's what it is traveling tools anyway this is a craftsman t45 oh really i'm using a t45 i thought it was a t50 i'll be dang it's a craftsman but that's okay oh here's a t50 hey let's see if a t50 will fit instead i used the t45 over on the other side oh it's a t50 oh my god all right, so it's a T50. I was I grabbed the biggest one I noticed, and it was a T45. Anyway, it is a T50, but a T45 will work if you're lucky and don't break anything. But yeah, it's a T50. It was real snug, and it's kind of hard to get loose with a 45 because it doesn't. Anyway, it's a T50. Uh, there's one down here, and then one up here on the top right here those are t50s see it's a t50 ah yep it's a t50 they're really tight i mean they're just they're just super tight on there but it's got to put just about all you got to get that thing loose but it's a seat belt to save your life see it is a t50 I guess we're going to have to extend the handle to, to get enough on it. Oh, yeah, see? There you go. It's definitely a T50. I don't care what anybody says, it's a T50. Anyway, you then choke up on it and get the finger beaters out of the way. And a grease gun. Like I said, I got every tool needed to travel, ever needed, ever dreamt of. Anyway, 
everywhere that you everywhere that you eat in the car and touch your seat belt as soon as it gets enough water on the seat belt after enough time it then starts molding over on the seat belt anyway that one's out you see it's a huge bolt and there's this i don't know what this is it's like a metal a plastic clip on it for some reason there's your three phillips screws and then your big bolt on the bottom that's longer on the bottom it's shorter on the top the shorter one's up here this one's shorter up here and you do it and then see it's a shorter bolt Shorter bolt up here. See, it's a shorter one. You pull it off, and it's a shorter one. The shorter one's on top. See, it's a shorter one that goes on top. Anyway, you pry the rest of this plastic thing off. Then you got to have gloves after this because of the. The mold on the seat belt, it's on it. It's kind of hidden there, but it's it's see there it is. It's in the that's what I'm gonna try to clean out. If you look at it, just yeah, I see it. Anyway, so what I'm doing is I'm straining it out on the on the pavement. There's the other seat belt. You string it out on the ground under a bottle down here with the end and then you pull it all the way up and zip tie it to a cable or something to hold it on to. And then you string it out and put this little cheap zip tie down here on the seat belt so it doesn't go zipping back in there. It's kind of a difficult thing because you have to hold the seat belt just right to extend it so you can't let it go back in there because then you got to try and angle it just right to pull the seat belt all the way out if it's not angled just right it won't come out you have to tilt it the right amount both ways and then you can slowly pull it out you have to go back in and then pull it out again to be able to get it but i'm using bacterial hand soap and baking soda that's baking soda I'm finishing up with baking soda and then i'm using a scrub brush and just scrubbing the daylights out of it to get rid of it and then i got to get new door gaskets for it but it's damp i don't think it's going to dry out here i have to do something that's one from the passenger side that's how you do it it is a t50 screw and you pull it out and and look at all the hair all the spider poop on it anyway you pull it out and then clean it and clean all that out and clean that and then clean all the spider poop out of the belt and then and then see this is this is getting wet here and it's coming from up here see the gasket it's missing up here this lets a driving rain come down in through here across this so i definitely have to replace this as soon as possible that that door stripping i don't know where to get it but i got to get it as soon as possible because it's i can see it pooling and i didn't see it under this but it's pooling under here and then uh yeah i can see it's it's pooling so i'm gonna have to take all this plastic off again in the future and in doing so you gotta pull all this off it's black rock desert from five years ago dust right there if not that so anyway that's how you do it that's what you got to do three phillips screw screws one here one up here and then one down there and then 
a short T50 up here, and then a long T50 down there. The plastic just rips off, you know, once you get the screws undone. There you go. Have fun. There you go. There you go. That's why I make the video. So there's, you can see what the true size of the screwdriver is. Bye.